In this video, let's take another look at the harmonic series. So if we take our zeta function and we substitute an s value of 1, we'll get back this infinite sum here, which is referred to as the harmonic series. And in a previous video, I showed the original proof that this sum diverges. Or in other words, as you add more and more of these terms, the sum will start to approach infinity. So let's look at a different way to prove this and what's referred to as a proof by contradiction. So what we'll do is we'll assume that this harmonic series, one plus one half plus one third and so on, will actually add up to some number s. And through this proof, we'll show that this assumption will lead to some kind of contradiction. And since we get a contradiction based off of the initial assumption that this leads to some finite value, then we have to conclude that the sum must be infinite or that it diverges. So to start this proof, let's rewrite our sum in a slightly different way. We have that one plus one third plus one fifth plus one seventh, and so on, plus one half, plus one fourth, plus one sixth, and so on, is equal to s. I've essentially just split it up into two separate sums where we have the odd terms here and the even terms here. And notice that with the even terms, they each share a common factor of one half, which we can factor out. So let's just rewrite this first sum with all the odd terms. And then with the even terms, we can factor out a one half from this. And what we're left with is one plus one half plus one third and so on. And notice that this is just the harmonic series. And we know that this, based on our initial assumption, is equal to s. So let's rewrite this equation as the sum of the odd terms, since that remains unchanged, plus one half times s, and this is equal to s. So we can subtract one half s from each side so that the sum of these odd terms adds up to one half s. And we already know that the sum of the even terms adds up to one half s. So we can conclude that the sum of these even terms has to be equal to the sum of the odd terms. And this is where we get our contradiction. Since if you look at this more closely, you can compare this term by term. So the first terms of this, notice that one is bigger than one half. And comparing the second terms of this, one third is bigger than one fourth. And looking at the third terms of this, one fifth is greater than one sixth. And you can continue this logic on and on. So comparing term by term, the terms on the left side are always bigger than the terms on the right side. So therefore, these two sums can't be equal to each other. And that's where the contradiction comes from, since this doesn't make any sense, we can conclude that this initial assumption here must be wrong. And since this is wrong, that all of the terms in the harmonic series add up to some finite number, we have to conclude that the sum of this diverges.